Big Papa Shea Weber is out, and Big Daddy Evgeny Dedinov is in. Okay, here we go. A couple of hours ago, Darren Drager said he smelled something fishy going on in Montreal. His team of NHL insiders were all going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And bam, minutes later, it was a fish off from the Canadians themselves. This is the end of the Shea Weber era. His contract is now off the charts. And who would have knew that it would be the Vegas Golden Knights that would take on that contract after all. Ah, uh, this time we were thinking it was going to be the Arizona Coyotes, but no. Vegas just seems to get their hands on everything somehow. But anyway, keep in mind this is all new and fresh to me as I'm recording this video. And I'm not going to lie, my initial reaction to this one was confusion for both sides. I didn't quite understand. From the Canadian's perspective, yes, I knew that Shea Weber's contract needed to be moved. That was all fine and dandy by me, but dead not. Being the only guy coming back to Montreal on return was kind of... Yeah, it just seemed a little bit strange to me at the very beginning. But now I understand, okay? I think I've got it. I've got a theory, and I think all Kent Hughes is beginning to look more and more like Dr. Evil every day. Jeez, Kent. So first up, let's introduce the new member of the Montreal Canadiens. Evgeny Dadnov is a 33-year-old winger from Russia. He might be listed as a right winger on HockeyDB.com, but he does shoot left. So maybe he can slot over on the left side in the Canadiens lineup and kind of help them out in that department in the upcoming season. Maybe he plays with Suzuki and Caulfield. I can already see the Big Daddy memes flourishing as we speak right now. It's going to be beautiful, but I also think it's going to be short-lived. You see, Dead Nav, he's got one year left on his contract. I think he's listed at making, what, like $5 million per season? His actual cap hit, I'm pretty sure, is a little higher than that, but that's okay. Because if I'm Evgeny Dadnov, I would not get too comfortable in Montreal right now, okay? I wouldn't unpack my suitcase, I wouldn't get my, you know, license plate switched over or anything like that. Because more than likely, guess who's going to be sellers again at the upcoming trade deadline? The Montreal Canadiens. I don't think they're going to do good this year, do you? No. And if they do become sellers and begin selling off rental players like last season, Evgeny Dadnov could be just another piggy that Hughes places on the market. So that's why we actually gotta wait to see what we truly get for Shea Weber. Right now, it's just a one for one, Dad Nav for Weber. But if Dad Nav puts up some points this year and draws some interest from around the league, then who knows what Kent Hughes can do with this guy at the deadline. Who knows, maybe he gets a first round pick for him. Or maybe they get a second round pick and a prospect. Listen to me, he hasn't even played a game yet, and I'm already talking about trading him. Obviously, this is uh, just pure speculation on my part, but this is how I think it's going to go down, okay? I don't think Dad Nav is going to be around long term. But in the meantime, during the games he does play with Montreal, yes, he's going to bring a veteran presence that they desperately need, and he can also play in the top six. Again, bit of a strange trade. As for the Vegas Golden Knights, they get Shea Weber. He's not going to play any games. They're probably not even going to make a jersey for him. Weber is probably sitting at home right now already blocking their numbers. He doesn't want to talk to them, but I guess that's not the point, okay? Vegas got him for a specific reason. They also got rid of Dadnov, who they've been trying to get rid of now for a year. The guy's been like a hot potato. But hey, if the Canadians can take him and resell him at the trade deadline for more, then, then that's a win, boys. That's a win. So that's it. I guess we're going to have to wait and see how this one pans out. I don't think Kent Hughes is done. I think there's going to be more trades to be made during the offseason. So hang on tight and wait for Dr. Evil to continue making his moves. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Shea Weber for Evgeny Dadnov trade down in the comment section. Don't forget to slap around the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.